Hey, welcome to Oak Street Off-Road. I'm your old pal Mitch, and we're going to be going through something that is not a whole lot of fun, but it might help you have a better day out there on the trails, as opposed to a really bad day out there on the trails. So, took some time today, because up here at Oak Street Off-Road Headquarters, we just like to call it HQ. Actually, it's just my garage. I want to show you what's going on outside. Here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of snow out here. And it's looking pretty glorious. Fantastic. But I think we're going to take our stuff inside and go through a pre-trip inspection on your vehicle. What we're going to start with is take a look at the roof line. Are there any holes, any cracks, anything like that? It's a Jeep, so obviously if you got your top down, yep, there's holes in it. Then we're gonna take a look at the windshield. Is it cracked? Is it broken in any way? Do the wipers look like they are functional? Next thing we're gonna do is move on to our hood latches. Is our hood properly secured? In this case, yes they are. Now here under the hood, what we're gonna be doing is looking at all of our fluid levels, our oil, our power steering fluid, our coolant, our washer, brake fluid, and look at and read through your service manual for checking your transmission fluid. Please, don't be a fat, drunken, stupid hillbilly and try to do this with the engine running. That would be a bad, bad thing. Also, take a look at your serpentine belt in here. Can you see if it is frayed? Is there enough play in there? If you're not sure what you're doing, don't mess around with it. Take it, get it serviced. This is going to help you have a better day on the trail versus a really bad day on the trail. Then with this particular application, we also have to look at our winch. Does it spool in? Does it spool out? Now I've checked this earlier today and it's working perfectly. So I'm not going to bore you with the details. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at the vehicle. Is it leaning to the left or to the right? Why is that? If it is, hey, figure it out, get it fixed. It could just be low tire pressure. It could be whatever. Get that stuff fixed. Yeah, are there any fluids puddled up underneath the vehicle? What, is, what are they? And get them fixed because this could make a very good day or a very very bad day the next thing you want to do let's take a look at tire pressure and tire depth pressure right yeah tread depth so i'm only going to do one tire here i'm not going to bore you with all of them you people can do you're smart enough, you know how to do this. So, check this. Right there, we're at 34.6 pounds of pressure. On this tire, it's good. Checking the tread depth. Take a penny. Listen, if you don't have a penny, all you gotta do is go to the gas station. When you're getting fuel, somebody's gonna drop a penny out of their pocket or what? Just pick it up off the ground and put it in there we've got plenty of tread depth on these tires these are ko2s absolutely love them the next thing we're going to do is as we move down the side of the vehicle take a look at it is any of the glass broken cracked damaged anything like that are the mirrors secure can you open the door and close the door? 
anything that is loose dragging that needs to be addressed. Get it fixed now. thing we're going to do is make sure that our headlights work. Do our turn signals work? Left and right. Do our hazard lights work? Then, on the interior of the vehicle, we want to check and see are the mirrors adjusted correctly? Do the windshield wipers work? Does the little spray thing work? Rear view mirror. Left, right. Okay, shut that off. Do the heater controls work? So you can turn it up, down, especially for the defrost. You absolutely have to have that. So in this case, everything works. The next step, I'm going to start the vehicle and make sure that I can engage the gear shift lever correctly. I'm not going to put it into four-wheel uh, high or four-wheel low because I'm stuck here at HQ with the weather, but let's go ahead and fire it up. Everything seems to be running correctly. Make sure that my fuel gauge works. My temp gauge, my tag, my speedo. Next thing we're gonna do, put the foot on the brake, and I put the vehicle in reverse. And in this case, the, I do have a rear view camera. It's on there. That is working. Now it's in neutral. Now it's in drive. That seems to be working correct. Shut the vehicle off. Make sure that the parking brake works. Then, what we're going to do is go to the rear of the vehicle and here on the rear of the vehicle we're going to make sure that our hazard lights work left and right we're going to make sure that our brake lights work our reverse lights we're going to make sure that the bumper is properly secure any tow hooks anything that has absolutely got to be secured next thing is we're going to take a look at our spare tire is it properly secured? Is it covered or not covered? That's a personal preference. I like to keep mine kind of hidden down on the down low. And it says don't panic. Make sure that your brake light works. Take a look at your rear glass. Also, take a look at your tailgate. Does it freely open and close? Same thing with your rear glass. Now this is a uh, 2018 JL two-door hardtop. With the soft tops, it's going to be a little bit different. But make sure that this glass operates freely. Next thing is, just like I showed you in the last video, make sure that your fire extinguisher is properly mounted. It is charged and you know how to use it. I'm going to be doing a video on how to use a fire extinguisher coming up pretty soon. So, with all of that being said. Okay, so. With everything that I've gone through here, number one. This can be applied to any vehicle out there. 
Today we were concentrating on my Jeep, but it is for every single vehicle. Please do it. Please be safe out there. Check your fluid levels. Make sure that you're going to be safe out there on the roads. And by the way, please do read your owner's manual. It's not just another person's point of view. It is actually the truth. And once again, this is your old pal Mitch with Oak Street Off-Road. And please subscribe, like, and share.